you know, words like compression, uh, re distraction, retrusion, and protrusion, for example, are terms that dental students are really not too familiar with, unfortunately, when they get out of dental school. These are things we have to teach them after they get out. You just mentioned a, a balancing side interference <laughs> and, and <coughs> versus mobility. Uh, talk about those. What is the significance of that kind of an interference? Balancing side contacts, I think, I are contacts that have been misinterpreted for many years. If we have a tooth that looks like this and, and we have a crown and we put a high crown on this tooth, the general feeling in the past was that, oh, the tooth is going to be sore. It's surprising and the, and the muscle uh, hyperactivity will occur. It's surprising that the reverse actually happens. It follows this pattern here through the central pattern generator that's in the brain stem. It doesn't go up to the brain, to the cortical level yet at all. Why do we need anterior guidance, for example, uh, when teeth really only touch in the centric position on closing? They don't touch along that guiding plane of cuspid guidance like this, okay? They don't touch along there at all. They don't touch the lingual upper incisors as you chew. In normal function. In normal function. So you really only need anterior guidance when you parafunction to protect the posterior teeth. Yes. Another section to the same joint will be used to demonstrate some of the critical anatomical landmarks dentists should be familiar with. These are well demonstrated in Bruce Sanders' textbook along with Murakami and Clark's text on diagnostic and surgical arthroscopy of the temporomandibular joint. And here at 40 magnification with an operating microscope, you can see how the superior fibers appear to attach to the disc and as they pass under it on the way to their attachment to the superior portion of the fovea of the condyle. Adhesions are commonly seen in joints as a result of several causes, trauma, degeneration, inflammation, infection, and congenital